Ok ragazzi, rieccoci tornati con Marvel Spider-Man 2 e Across the Spider-Verse per questa seconda parte con i creatori sia del film che del gioco e nulla, vediamo quali altri dettagli saltano fuori speriamo siano un po' più interessanti e che non siano 10 minuti sprecati pure questi perché l'altra volta ragazzi non è che fossero tutta questa gran roba forse adesso un po' di più, vediamo Vabbè, ah il costume di Miles Peter Tanti film, ok resonate with the most passionate Spider-Man fans or Marvel fans out there. I kind of created this, this phrase of respect the DNA of the franchise, but don't be afraid il DNA del franchise, bravo. Taking that philosophy the entire time. Un po' di concept, ok. The same thing that our own crews tell us when we're making the movie. Right. What did they say when Mumbatan wasn't coming together? Right. The Indian animators got together, sent us an email. Yeah. Make it doper. Right. It's not dope enough. Right. We are working with these characters that we love that are known around the world for decades mi ricorda la sigla che ho realizzato questa canzone perché Spider-Man è così popolare? è bella domanda allora è più comprensibile è vero è vero You gotta care about the stuff outside the suit because you gotta have both. You a punch a punch work. lands harder with more yeah. consequences yeah. if you understand what's yeah. happening outside. You know. Look, even going through I mean going through the apartment and like flipping through the records, I was yeah. like, okay, this is yeah. I'm feeling the texture of this world. I'm yeah. I'm you know, I could get a sense for what yeah. for what Miles was going through. Yeah. When you were thinking about Venom, you could have got the symbiote and just make him a big blob. But that's not what's cool and that's what's not important about Venom. The genius idea you had, Brian from the very beginning was let's make it hairy mm. it's tying back to that very classic spider-man setup where i have to fight this this monster who's in there my best friend I care it, it's the it's the personal stuff it's i mean in spider-man one we had these backpacks and everybody loved collecting the backpacks you could learn more about peter's eight years of being spider-man through the backpacks yeah. and we're like we want that kind of collectible and we're like well pete and miles have these spider bots let's name that for them well what if They were spider bots from all over the multiverse. And then you guys brought up a character. Ah, ecco, ecco il collegamento col film. And we're like, well, what if you collect all the bots and then you get this like location? It's just one of those things where you look back and you're like, I can't believe we were able to do that and have that kind of and collaboration. I, I will say, I think it's generational because I do, I, you know, I've been around long enough now to have worked for the previous couple generations where. I don't even want to call it like a competitive nature, but there was sort of this separation where I was like, no, 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 that thing's tied up in this thing. You can't yeah. do it. Mm. If you want to do it yeah. as yeah. a fan and you know the fans want to see it yeah. and you know yeah. you can do it right and you can do justice and you're yeah. not doing it as a, as a you know, as this sort of 100%. throwaway, then it's, it's worth doing it. It's worth yeah. exploring and it's worth... This is fun service fatto bene, vedi? You know, a, a couple extra days to make it happen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say that was... Um, I can't believe we pulled it off because it came in so late. Yeah. <laughs> And I remember when Brian told us, he's like, okay, we have to, we're going to do this crossover, we're gonna, but don't worry, I've got some assets from the animation. Right, right. And we're like, oh, okay, get the animation uh, assets, and we're like, okay, we can't use this. <laughs> oh. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you, everyone. Let me take those off your hands. Whoa. All the spider bots in the game were actually done by this one artist, and I guess... That's cool. he, it kind of goes to show that if you're having fun, it's not working. Yeah. I think that's the key. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. it was completely unexpected. We were trying to figure out how to do it, and he just said, this is the best thing ever, and he was so passionate about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I love that some of the same artists that worked on the film mm -hmm. like yep. got to collaborate with you guys yep. on the game. And Vedi, hanno proprio collaborato quelli del film al gioco, vabbè, per forza. Era la cosa più semplice da fare. Yeah. Mm -mm. So appealing about Miles is like there was a character whose backstory wasn't rooted in tragedy, who actually have a good established line of communication with right, their parents, right, yeah. and that that can be its own strength, that is own superpower that can carry you through things. And I hadn't seen it done quite like that um, because it was so rare for you know we see like all the like. Your dad was killed by the, this and your mom was killed by that and your uncle died here. And here was like, no, we love you and we'll always support you. What's interesting about Miles and I think this, what, what 
sort of Spider-Man has evolved into is, is this mantle that can sort of be taken on yep. by anybody. My, my kid's eight years old. Miles is his Spider-Man. Right. That's who yeah. he recognizes mm -hmm. as Spider-Man first. Off the top of my head, I can't think of another superhero franchise that allows you to embody the character and sort of become, you know, envision yourself as the character. Yeah. Well, there's a thing that I noticed in comics and comic book characters as a kid. And it's just, I don't think it was anything done on purpose on the part of the creators, but it felt like characters of color were always the downgrade characters. Mm. They were mm. weaker. So that if you have a group of kids sitting at a table and say, here's a superhero, who wants to be who? Mm. Falcon's last. Yeah. Black Panther's last. You know, there's always, Luke Cage is strong, he ain't no Hulk. And Miles, I wasn't even reading comics, it's so simple. I just thought it was nice that he had dope powers. Yeah. yeah. The kid could turn invisible. He could shock you with electricity. On paper, he w it was different, but he was as powerful as another Spider-Man. Just that. Right. Which, mm -hmm. and by making him that, everyone wants to be him. Yeah. I didn't even realize how important Miles Morales became yeah. to an entire culture yep. mm -hmm. of people at, around the world. And it was almost overwhelming. Yeah. Some fans, there have been fans of this all their life and is their life. And in many real ways, that's me. Mm. Spider-Man has, since I can remember seeing that cartoon when I was three, Spider-Man's been part of my life and, and, and has helped guide me. And in many ways, he saved my life. Mm. He gave me a purpose. He was there for me when my parents were getting divorced. When I was Bello questo messaggio. And that feeling of an outsider and having to look for other outsiders. And, and the first... Cioè vedete a volte non è semplicemente questione di essere appassionati a un qualcosa, no? Cioè in questo caso lui ci sta dicendo che comunque Spider-Man cioè, non solo l'ha cresciuto, no? Perché a volte banalizziamo, eh, il personaggio mi ha cresciuto, ok, quello sì. Però qui stiamo parlando di una persona a cui, possiamo dire, è quasi cambiata la vita attraverso questo personaggio. E se vogliamo, anche per me è lo stesso, perché praticamente ci sto costruendo una carriera grazie a questo personaggio. Ed è importante, ragazzi, poi cioè, quando si dice la passione, la passione fa tanto. La prima cosa che farei quando ci muovi è che trovi lavoro e ci trovi comodo. And when I had that, I was centered. I was a, I was a really awkward kid, as I start to stutter. Um, and when you're, when you're awkward and you mess up and you're insecure, you don't see a future for yourself. You don't see how you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer or a police officer like my father was. Um, you do, and you might not necessarily be good at anything yet. Mm -hmm. And when someone creates a character that you see yourself in, and that character is aspirational, you can start to see a future for yourself. Right, right, right. Um, so if, if whatever it is we're making, that's our great responsibility, is to make that place where someone young and insecure and doesn't see a future for themselves goes, that's mine. I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> bello, bello. The interactions with fans have been just crazy. I mean, just the number of people who have told me they want to be in video games because of what we do. Um, but then also just the love that we get because we get um, fans who just say, I'm, I'm in the hospital, I'm very sick. I, I play this game to get me through something. Um, this game just means so much more and in a way for me, it's just so much bigger now than when we first started. And I would never have guessed that. I used to say like, you know, the little kid who ha held on to the Spider-Man action figure and wore the underoos, like, would he be happy? Right. <laughs> would he be happy? In Spider-Man 1, um, Aunt May, uh, works at Feast and Pete goes there from time to time and helps out and I remember after that game came out we had a, a fan say he took a picture with his aunt who also worked at a homeless shelter mm -hmm. and he said he started volunteering after playing the game Amazing. Wow. and I was like oh if this game helped one Caspita. person be a better person that's beyond my wildest you've already changed life yeah, yeah. These jobs can be challenging at times. Yeah. They can be stressful. They can, you know, we can have highs and lows and peaks and valleys. But I think when I interact with anybody who, you know, finds anything that I've done meaningful, I am beyond appreciative to them because that then goes back in the hopper and 
fuels me for the next, you know, five year journey. Beh, diciamo che qui in realtà più che dettagli hanno voluto lanciare un messaggio praticamente e onestamente non so alla fine perché stiano facendo questi video perché pensavo che si entrasse un po' più nel dietro le quinte invece diciamo che sono più che altro chiacchiere generali però insomma è un bel messaggio quello che hanno lanciato e effettivamente magari non ci soffermiamo mai troppo su, su questa cosa qui sul fatto che la passione può essere Molto più di una semplice passione può, può cambiarti la vita ragazzi, effettivamente sì, è così ragazzi, è così. E addirittura un ragazzo ha iniziato a fare il, vol il volontariato perché eh, ha visto il fist, insomma tutta la situazione del primo Marvel Spider-Man e questo è una roba molto importante. Quindi bello, bello, mi è piaciuta questa cosa qui, anche se non era quello che mi aspettavo, però comunque ci sta. Ad ogni modo ragazzi, fatemi sapere cosa ne pensate, ditemi qual è il vostro rapporto con Spider-Man oltre alla passione, cioè cos'è che Spider-Man rappresenta per voi, cos'è che vi ha cambiato magari in qualcosa in particolare o semplicemente vi è cresciuto. Fatemelo sapere, adesso sono molto curioso, iscrivetevi al canale, noi ci vediamo al prossimo video. Ciao a tutti.